As you know, the schematic and PCB documents are made of component libraries. A component library consists of three parts, a schematic symbol, a PCB footprint, and a 3D model. You have four options to include the component libraries in your project. Design the component libraries from scratch. Download the component libraries from the Altium website. Use industrial plugins such as the Symaxis Altium plugin. Use the Altium manufacturer part search. In this video, I will show you how you can design the component libraries yourself from scratch. So, let's get started. Alright, the first thing you should do is to download the datasheet of the component. For this tutorial, I have selected this LM358 op-amp. So this is the datasheet. And this figure shows the pin connections and labels of the pin and the internal circuit of the component. And this figure shows that this component is offered uh, in these three packages, DEEP8, SOIC8, and micro 8. So I will use this figure or this diagram for the schematic symbol and will I will design the footprint for the DIP8 package. After you learn the process you can design the footprint for these two other package types as well. Everything is, is identical except for the last step. The process is pretty easy. So let's go to the Altium. Before I continue, I highly recommend you to use a valid license for your Altium Designer software. My used version is 21.8.1, build 53. Uh, if you follow a link in the video description, you can try Altium for 6 months for free. So 6 months is a good time to learn and decide if you want to continue with this software or not. So anyway, just go to the file menu and select new library and select the integrated library. There we go. Now I uh, right click on here, add new to project, schematic library. There we go. Now add new PCB library. Now we should save the, all of these files, press save all and the software needs the name for the PCB footprint because Deep8 is a general name for many footprint uh, uh, because Deep8 is a footprint for many components so I recommend you to use such a name because later on you might use this footprint for other component components as well so i recommend you to use such a name for the pcb footprint then it's uh, it asks for the schematic symbol name so this name is specific just for this component so you should write lm358 then it ask for asks for the uh, file name of the integrated library because this is a group, uh, something like a container for all of these libraries, I recommend you to use a uh, group. Uh, uh, what I mean is this component belongs to the op-amp group, okay? So op we should write op-amp. Why? Because later on you can add other op-amps or other similar components to this library. So you can have one integrated library for all of your op-amps. And that's it. Press save. Let's go to the uh, designer a schematic symbol. And the first thing we need is a rectangle. There we go. We can res resize it like this. Very easy. 
So what is the next step? Next step is the pins. Let me zoom in on this diagram. So the pins. Each pin, uh, uh, sorry, uh, you can access the pin from here. So if you press here, the pin shows up. Each pin, as you see, you see that? Each pin has two elements. One is, if I press tab, one is designator and one is the name. This is also called label sometimes. Here the software uh, says the, uh, this one, name. Okay, this designator is a pin number. What I mean is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and etc. So the first pin is number one. So we, we should write number one for the designator because we start for the, for, from the pin number one and then the label for the pin one is output A. We can write abbreviation out A and that's it. We can rotate the pin like this and be careful. Uh, this side of the pin is used to connect the wires and this side is for the label or the name. You will see this dot, it shows that the wire is get, uh, gets connected to this side. So don't mistake and don't put like this, okay? So rotate the pin and place it like this. Out A. Then the designator 2. is input a negative because the, this is the negative input of this op amp this uh, component ha contains two op amps and this is the pin two input negative so minus in a that's it input a positive very nice and pin four was ground uh, i think I will check. Yes, pin 3 input A positive and pin 4 ground. 5 is positive input B and etc. etc. Okay. Number 5 positive input B. Now we should rotate. Do you see that? Input B. Very easy, really. Software helps a lot. You see the software automatically uh, increment the designator. Now is number seven was output B, out B. And number eight was VCC. Let's double check again. Yes, 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 and perfect. So, uh, if I resize this rectangle, there you go. I can say we finished the work. However, uh, from now on, I recommend my own suggestions. I suggest you to put the power lines on the top, like this, and the ground lines at the bottom, like this. Later on, this type of habit uh, helps you to make uh, to make your schematics more readable and easy to debug. Uh, you will confirm this if you follow this rule in your in designing the schematic symbols of your components. So do you see that this schematic symbol looks much more professional and user friendly? Input A, input and output A. And on the left, everything related to B on the right, power line on the top, and the ground line at the bottom. Uh, let me fix the component name. So component one is, uh, is wrong. We should fix this to LM358. And designator, there is a trick here. Uh, you can write IC U or whatever you like whatever you selected for this one for example i see just put one question mark at the end and press enter why this question mark this helps the software to put a number 
instead of this question mark so altium so later on when you use this schematic symbol in the schematic uh, the altium will put will put or assign one number instead of this question mark and automatically increases or increment this number so this is a uh, rule of thumb and follow this habit uh, for this designator here <coughs> so i think we're done if you check here lm358 uh, renamed correctly do you remember in the beginning i told you you can add more schematic symbols uh, to this integrated library from here add so you can uh, add for example lm uh, 324 this is another open and design the schematic symbol for this one all of them in one integrated library so we don't do that for now so let's delete so anyway that's it it was as simple as that in the next step i will go through designing the pcb footprint all right to design a footprint for your component you have two options one option is to open the data sheet and find the information or uh, information of the package dimensions and sizes uh, i mean something like this if you come down as it says mechanical case outline package dimensions and the package is deep eight and you can see the dimensions here in millimeters and inches and you can use this information to design the uh, footprint from scratch which i don't recommend because most likely you will make mistakes somewhere and ruin your board because of that mistake and when the software provided two nice wizards why we should design this from scratch so you can either use ipc compliant footprint wizard or footprint wizard ipc is a footprint industrial footprint standard uh, which is mandatory for some projects you can always follow ipc however footprint wizard is also a very nice tool and satisfies 99 persons 99 percent of the requirements and standards so we follow this for our ordinary components and that was the first page nothing nothing special and in this page we should select the package select from the list the pattern of the component you wish to create of course and let's select dip here you can use mill i prefer millimeter and go to the next here it asks for the whole diameter or drill size and the pad dimensions okay we can come to the data sheet and find the thickness of the leg or uh, pin of the component which is here and small capital b this eight uh, times x means eight for the eight pins I mean, uh, times this for the eight it means all pins are identical in thickness so a small b is here 35 between something between 35 and 56.56 .56 millimeter uh, so i think 0.7 is good why uh, as a rule of thumb always add 0.1 millimeter to to the highest or the, to the maximum drill size or drill size or to i mean to the maximum thickness of the leg here is almost 0 0.6 so the desired uh, hole size or the drill size is 0 0.7 millimeter so we enter 0.7 for the hole and for the pad 2.5 is fine 1.2 we can increase this to 1.4 to allow 0.7 millimeter space uh, between the pad and, and the hole okay 1.4 for the hole 
layers this is top button and this is the mid layer so in the mid layers we also follow 1.4 millimeter for the pad size let's press next all right here it asks for asks for the distance between two uh, legs or two uh, pins of the components let's go to the data sheet and there we go capital E is the distance uh, minimum 7.62 and the maximum is 8.26 okay in such cases because we, we can just enter one number here it's uh, advisable to use a, an average of these two numbers use the average of these two numbers I mean 7.62 and 8.26 and enter the result here uh, so I use the calculator of the windows uh, 7.62 plus 8.26 divided by 2 7.94 Here it asks for the distance between two pins. It is this small e, which is 2.54 millimeter. So 2.54 millimeter. It uh, all right. Here it asks for the thickness of the silk screen. Uh, 0.2 millimeter is fine and number of the pins 10 is uh, high it should be 8 because here is PD8 eight, 8 pins and what name should this deep have deep 8 is uh, very nice and press finish and there we go very very nice footprint design footprint actually uh, so do you know how much time you have to invest to design something like this from scratch and I'm sure you will make some mistakes very good very nice and beautiful footprint so we done our job this is the footprint of the package however there is one optional step which you can add a 3d model to this footprint for inspection purposes to add a 3D model, you can allow Altium to design a 3D uh, body for this, uh, which is basic, which is a basic uh, 3D body. However, you can add uh, your own 3D model for this, or you can find it from internet. There are some websites that offers or that offer free 3D models. I have downloaded one, and I will add here. There you go so let me add it to the component let's see how it looks like come here and press 3d black you see that this is the component without a with a 3d model it's a beautiful you see that i think i should shift it a bit Put it down you see there is some misalignment let's go to the three 2d and do like this i think now it's fine and there we go everything is perfect and we can save this now i should come to the schematic symbol document and from here, do you see down here, add footprint. Then I should press the browse button and select the footprint from the list. Uh, one component is redundant here, and that's the component uh, that is generated by the software automatically in the beginning. I will show you where it is. Do you see here, Deep8 is our component. However, uh, the PCB document one is redundant and I should delete this uh, so let me click right click on the component and delete this one 
right click delete and there we go now everything is ready let's come back to the schematic press add footprint then here press the browse and select the footprint library from the list our footprint library is deep 8 there you go and one component press ok and that's it now i'm gonna save the document the next step is to compile this integrated library so i should go to the project menu and press compile integrated library op amp so just press this do you see uh, the library gets compiled and that's it now everything is ready i can go and create a pcb project and add our new component library to the schematic document so let's accept the default and add a new schematic to the project then i should press the components and we will see that our newly compiled integrated library has been added to the list automatically and there we go opamp int live and i should just need to drag the lm358 component to the schematic and there we go everything is ready if i press the properties you will see that the 3d model and the pcb footprint has been attached to this schematic symbol do you like the process everything is pretty easy in altium i hope you like this video so don't forget to share and subscribe also give me a big thumbs up catch you next time